I'm going to give a little bit of an in-depth tour of Apple's new AR kit. Um, this is for augmented reality. I have here an iPhone 6s and it has uh, the AR kit example that Apple has supplied. So I'll go ahead and add a cup to this table. And one thing that I was wondering while they were demoing it at WWDC is what happens if you actually move the phone away from the object. Um, so if I just completely move it away from that table and then back to the table. Um, and it's actually uh, really cool because it stays in the position mostly where it already was. And of course you can move the device closer to the cup and you can examine everything that is there. It is actually really weird to see like as you move the phone away the table is actually empty because it does create a sense of you know an object actually being there although it's not. Um, so the, the tracking is pretty good. I'm standing up now um, moving closer to it from the top. Of course you can examine it from different angles. Uh, doesn't seem to be like perfect perfect but I think it's pretty good so far. Um, this is an iPhone 6s and it only has one camera on the back so I'm wondering uh, and I might test this with an iPhone 7 plus uh, if it's any better with dual cameras. Uh, one of my favorite examples oh, of course you can also move the cup around and you can uh, pinch to make it uh, larger or smaller but right now I'm going to add a vase that is actually my favorite example that they've supplied. So we have a vase over here, I'm going to bring it closer. Um, and the reason I really like this is because it, well it's really cool, you can essentially zoom into the flower and view what's inside of it. And so I think this is actually going to be an awesome tool when it comes to education um, because you'll be able to show models of things that, you know, students prior were only able to view two-dimensionally in textbooks. Uh, can even look into the vase, which is actually awesome. I noticed that uh, WWDC during the keynote that um, they were able to add multiple objects using the demo app. I haven't actually been able to do that. Uh, so I'm not sure <laughs> how, if there's like some key command I need to know. It's amazing how uh, static the vase is on the table as as you move the device around. It's it's actually very impressive, especially with just a single camera. Now we can try maybe something else like a chair, but I'm gonna I'm gonna place the chair maybe on the floor. Oh, or in the air. Uh, so let's see how I can actually move this chair. Oh wow, look at that. It snapped it to the floor. So that was actually really interesting. Uh, it noticed that the floor was on a different plane than the tabletop. And so as I moved the chair to the floor, it actually snapped it on there. And that looks incredibly good. Uh, it actually looks like there's a chair on the floor, which is awesome. Now I'm not going to walk around. And I am. this is actually very impressive. <laughs> Just walking around the chair now and it, it feels real uh, as you're looking at it and again if I move the device away yeah it looks like the chair is still in the correct position um, so that's that's awesome uh, let's now replace it with a lamp okay the lamps in the poof over there but there we go it's a little bit closer now so we can zoom in very bright Yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed by this and I really can't wait to see what people start building with uh, ARKit.